Hello everyone. Welcome back to our lecture series for getting data science and artificial intelligence. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about adversarial search that is minimax algorithm. Okay. So in the previous lecture, we have discussed about what is adversarial searches and what are the different types of uh, algorithms we use in that. And in this case, we are going to uh, discuss minimax algorithm. Okay. Now let's see what is it. Okay. So we are going to discuss one example that is tic tac toe example. Okay, tic tac to example. By using this example, we are going to see how this minimax algorithm works. Okay, so I hope you all know how this tic tac to example, right? how this tic tac to game is played, right? So basically, two players can play this game, right? Two players can play this game. One is X player, another one is O player, right? This is X player, another one is O player, right? It is a two player game, and uh, suppose there is one X player, another one is O player. Now, when one will win this particular game, suppose O player will win this game when he got all the three O's in a particular row, like this, like this, or anyway, diagonally like also it is possible. Or when this X player will win the match, suppose uh, like this, okay, if this is an X thing, like he, he got the three in a row, so he can win this particular game. Or suppose on this side also, if he got X, so he can win this particular game, right? So it depends on the, so basically this is a terminal state, okay? So at this point, X is winning the match, okay? But how, but the question is, how this AI will understand whether uh, I have reached the, whether I have reached the goal state or a terminal state or I have won the match, how this AI will get to know, right? For that AI should know how to play this game, right? How to play this game, how to play, right? What are the rules in that? What are the rules in that we should know? What is the terminal state, okay? So, where I have to reach, where this game player have to reach, like in this case, tic tac toe game is, suppose O is the AI player, O is AI player, then he needs to reach uh, like 3 in a row, that is O, then only he can win, so he should know this thing also, then what are the possible actions he can take on this particular uh, configuration, that thing he needs to know. So, this is what, uh, right, and in this case, our next move, our next move, suppose you are playing the game versus AI. So, U versus AI, right? And in this case, what happens? So, our next move is depend on our opponent's move, right? How AI will take the uh, actions. Based on that, we'll take our actions only, right? Our actions will get influenced by someone else agent or in this case, we can say other agent, okay? That is hostile agent, right? So, this is what adversarial search is. Now, what is minimax algorithm, right? So, same thing, minimax algorithm, so, what is minimax algorithm? Now, here also there are two players. One is mini, one is mean, and other one is max, right? So, both are playing against each other. That is mean versus max. So, what max will do? He will try to maximize his chance of winning. And same, mean will also try to maximize his chances, right? But, when max will try to maximize his chances, at the same time, the chance of uh, mean will be less, right? And when uh, mean will try to maximize his chance. The chance of max will be less, right? Because only one player can win the match, right? Now, in this case, what we consider, max will always try to maximize his chance and mean player will always try to minimize the chance of max, okay? If mean player is always trying to minimize the uh, chance of max, then ultimately his chances will increase of winning the match, right? So, based on this concept only, this minimax algorithm works. Okay, so one so max player will try to maximize his chances and mean player will try to minimize the chances of max player. Okay, so this, so this is what minimax algorithm is. Now, in the case of tic tac toe game, suppose we have a uh, mean and max player, right? And we have O and X player also. Now, in this case, our O is our mean player and X is our max player. Okay, now this is basically a final state that is a terminal state here you can see that is a terminal state now in this case mean player will win right mean player or o will win because he got all the three in a row in this case max player will win max player will win right because or x player will win because he got all the x in a three in a row and in this case it is draw right it is draw right now, the value of this particular terminal function, it is called as utility value. It is utility value, right? So, it is called as utility value. So, we will discuss this, what is utility. But as of now, just consider the value of this particular terminal function is minus 1. Because minimum, because mean player will always try to 
minimize the chances of max player right so at this particular point the chance of winning of max player is minus one like he cannot win the match now max player right so max player and this, this is so this is basically a, a terminal state so if he got 3x in a row then a max player has win the match and we have assigned the value that is one right and if mean player win the match we assign the value minus one that is mean player we always try to minimize the chance of max player now this is and this is a uh, draw okay right so we'll discuss how this particular uh, game works in the case of adversarial search how this how these things work okay in the case of adversarial search we'll discuss that but i hope you understand this concept like this is a terminal state so if we reach this particular state we'll try to reach this particular state the value of this particular state will be minus one the value of this particular state will be zero and the value of this particular state will be one so this is so this is basically a utility value okay now what is minimax algorithm is same thing take max aims to maximize its score and mean aims to minimize its score right so for example we have a tree like this because uh, this is a tic tac toe game suppose for example uh, he can perform two actions for this instant then this will be another instant this will be another instant right now this is x player move now this is o player move and at this particular level it is x player move once again so in this way there will be tree right suppose it is maximum player right now max player will know if i go by this particular branch my chances of winning is zero and if i go by this particular branch my chances of winning is one then he will not go by this particular side he will go on this particular uh, branch because he knows uh, the because he will select the maximum value of this particular two things so this is what max player will do this is what max function is okay we'll discuss this with the help of an example don't worry now now we'll discuss about few terminologies in game so s0 is basically initial state player s so its function returns which player to move in a state s whether x or o that is many or max player actions is basically a returns legal moves in a state s so what are the possible actions for a particular configuration uh basically uh ai or any person can take result is basically a return a state after some action is taken on that uh, particular state so this is a function now terminal checks if state is if test as a terminal state terminal state is basically our a goal state right it is a final state right someone will win the match someone will win the match someone will uh, lose the match right so what is utility so what is utility function final number value for the terminal state so this is what we have discussed so this is the utility value minus one zero one so final value of a terminal state so in this case it is minus one in this case it is zero and max there it is one okay so this is our initial state right now now first x player will make a move because we have taken this as an input as an initial state we have given the input to a particular player that is x player right so now x has taken this action basically here it is x now we'll give this particular input to the o now now o will get this particular input because x has already played right so based on this particular configuration o will make his chances right o will make his next move so in this way the tic tac toe uh, game works now what is action suppose this is our intermediate state any and now o player can take two moves right either he can uh, select this or this right either he can select this thing or this place right so any one of the actions he can perform because it has two choices to perform the action it has two choices right now what is result the state the current state and a particular action will form a result so in the previous slide this this is what the state and this actions that o has taken right so this will be the output this will be the output right this is what result function works what is terminal state okay if i reach this particular point or if, or if i see okay all the three x has been reached or all the o has been reached or there is a possibility of a draw then we can say it is true otherwise it is false right now in this case you can see here you can see x player has won the match so it is true right its terminal state has been reached and it is true now what is utility value the value of a terminal function right now in this case you can see x player has won the match so value is one and in this case o player has won the match so value is minus one right and if it isn't draw the value will be zero right now this is how this tic tac toe game works like we can convert this in the form of a graph now o player has the next move right so o player is basically a mean player that is mean value it will try to minimize the score of max player right now this is a given state if i perform this particular actions on this particular place then the chances of max value will be one so max value uh, the chances of x player will be one because it will reach the terminal state and he, he knows okay the max max has won the match 
Now, if he selects on this particular side, now there is a possibility that okay, the match will be drawn. So now this is the utility value of zero. This has the utility value of one. This also has a utility value. This also has a utility value of one, and this is also has the utility value of zero. So out of one or zero, the minimum player what will do based on these two particular value, it will select which path to go. So basically, mean player will select the minimum value. So in this case, zero is there, right? So our next move of this particular minimum player will be on this particular side because that is this one because it will select which one is having the minimum value so zero is minimum from uh, one and zero so it will go on this particular uh, side that is right hand side right okay. to draw the match now similarly for x player also right now x player will make a move like so there are three possibilities there are three actions that x can take either this this or this but which he one will take right right so this particular graph right you can here you can see the utility value one zero zero and minus one so utility value of this particular configuration is one also here also is zero so this is one and this is zero now minimum value now minimum player what will do based on this particular value so which one is having minimum value zero so it will perform this particular action because and the value of minimum value will be zero here that is is zero right now in this case you can see if, if x player has played this particular uh steps here x then the chances of winning will be minus one here you can see o will win the match so utility value is minus one so here also it is minus one right then in this case you can see if o plays here then the value will be zero okay this will be zero and out of zero or minus one which one is having minimum value minus one so th then definitely mean player will play this particular move right so this is basically a uh, okay then out of this minus one and zero which one is lowest minus one is lowest so this is minus one now next suppose x player has uh, taken the move on this particular place this right so in this case he will win the match so the value will be one so the value will be one here now max player will decide which path to go it means which action should i take like which move should i take based on this particular thing so max player will take the maximum value of 0, minus 1 and 1. So, which one is maximum value? 1. So, he will make this particular move, right? Not this one or this one, based on the maximum value only, okay? So, I hope you, I hope you got the concept, but don't worry, we'll discuss with the help of numerical example. So, it will be much clearer, but this is, I just want to give an overview, like how uh, we will get to a, that utility functions and all those things and with the graph, right? So, yeah, that's the case. Okay, so now we'll not get those type of configuration like uh, in the paper. We'll get the configuration based on the utility value, right? So, here you can see this green indicates the max player and red indicates the mean player, right? Mean player. The max player will always select the maximum value from the next step. So, if we go on this particular side, the value will be 5. If we go on this particular uh, but then the value will be 3. If max player makes these moves on this particular side, the value will be 9. Right? The chance of value will the chance of winning will be 9. Then what max will do? So basically, maximum out of these three, which one is maximum? 9. So we'll go by this particular part. That is 9. Right. Now, same thing we can apply in the bigger picture. Right. Now here we have the utility value. So 5, 3, 9. Okay. This is minimum mean player. This is a action taken by max, and this is basically utility value. Okay, five or three nine. So, what max player will do based on the maximum value of this particular actions, this particular configuration, he will select the maximum value that is nine. And in this case, what max player will do based on this two, it will select uh, this particular thing. Right now, what mean player will do, it will select the minimum value of from these two actions that is basically uh, this one eight. Right. So, mean will try to minimize the chances, max will try to maximize the chance of winning. This is what a uh, minimax algorithm is. One player, that is mean player, will try to minimize the chance of max player, and max player will try to maximize the chance of uh, itself. Right? So, when I say mean, it means it will select the lowest utility value. When I say max, it will select the highest utility value. Right? So, this is what minimax algorithm is. So, we'll discuss one example. Don't worry, it will be much clearer to you. Okay, thank you. That's it from my side. Thank you.